my name is John Flannery. You know, my profession is a, uh, I work as a sculptor and a, a furniture maker. I do it because, uh, you know, I've enjoyed art since I was uh, probably about 10 or so. And when I was uh, in college, I really focused on, on sculpture and the metal part of it just really seemed uh, to come secondhand. So uh, I rolled with it after, after school and, you know, what, what turned it, what started as just a, maybe focusing on an art career became more of just a, a profession and uh, making things in general, just, uh, just becoming a, an all around craftsman. And uh, for the last 20 years, I've been lucky enough to, to primarily be working in, uh, in bronze and, and things like that, that allow me to really uh, do some, do some fun stuff. So there's uh, large projects and then there's projects that I guess had some sort of importance. One of the early large projects I got to do was 23 years ago or so. Uh, I was uh, making a life-size dinosaur, uh, Parasaurophilus, for the uh, Camden Aquarium out of fiberglass. It was a pretty pretty big project, and it was super rewarding in the sense that, um, you know, even, even, I even had my kids see it since, you know, just decades later. It was, it was a great opportunity. Yeah, no, I have a personal dedication to... To, to, to work, to paying attention to work, and um, always wanting to find something that would be challenging, but also uh, have some sort of spiritual reward. Um, just leaving uh, something of yours behind for posterity, something for your family, something for your children, to be able to make stuff that you know will be passed down or, or has the opportunity to be passed down for, for decades or generations even. You know, you're sort of investing in permanence and you want to make sure you're doing something that's uh, that's respectable you know that, that you can that you can stand behind and uh, and appreciate make things that would stay with us you know that's that's a big part of my uh, motivation for what I do yeah there's always those there's always hundreds of things that didn't work out dozens of things in a week that don't work out you know when you're coming up with something that, that you want to sell, like uh, this is from a furniture standpoint, less of a, this is less of an art standpoint, but it's something that you want people to, you want people to want. They almost feel a, a bond with something that you, that you made that they, they actually want to have it, you know? Otherwise it's just, it's just like anything else, you know, that anybody can get anywhere else. You want to make something that's unique and that is definitely one of the biggest challenges. Just starting out, I was 19, and I was uh, given a lot of trust by the sculptor, the master sculptor that I worked for, that I trained with when I apprenticed, and 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 he and I remember he gave me a job that was to um, design a, a statue of Mary. It was going to be it, it, it was for like a um, a church, a local church that was going to sell um, copies of these. We we're going to make them, and, and and he entrusted me to make a model and sell it based on what I designed and came up with. And he gave me very little. Um, oversight you know he really just let me go nuts and it was only the second um, sculpture project that I did for him but he liked he liked the first one enough that he gave me this and and we didn't get the commission he didn't do any work on it it was just what I did uh, the buyers came through and they looked at it and it wasn't the direction they wanted to go and I remember him moving on and and saying you know what this is how it works you know but I trust you then I trust your judgment. I think you have talent, and that's why I let you do this. And don't worry about failure because this is what it takes to succeed. If you don't try, you'll never learn anything uh, about yourself. And I, you know, I was a little crushed to know that, like, had I maybe had I done a better job or more what they were looking for, you know, we could have produced however many dozen or, or so of these uh, votive votive statues and sold them or whatever. But also, the best thing I learned is like. You know, you had somebody that trusted you, um, trusted you to learn, and I mean, I never looked back since, so. And that was, I can't, you know, that was 26 years ago. So that was some time ago. Thank you.